Hi, it's Bruce, author of Freedom's Quest on Amazon. Hey, I'm just leaving Kennedy Space Center. I uh, hey, just wanted to, um, I was dwelling on my uh, uh, my time as seven years a diver on the Eastern Test Range for the Air Force. I have, here's a little advice. It's worldly advice for everybody. Um, one is when you're scuba diving, don't go to the surface quicker than your bubbles. Two, when you get that chance to kiss the red, tall, red-headed girl around the fire, at dancing around the fire, take it. And three, um, let go of the dang rope that you're cutting when you're cutting a rope. So, <laughs> those are pretty good life lessons. So here's the deal. When I was down on the islands, by the way, if I cough, it's just being air conditioner. When I was down on the islands, uh, we had a contract to relocate this top secret undersea cable from the Navy base to the Air Force base. And the Navy base only existed down on Antigua for this cable. And they wanted to shut the Navy base down. So they paid us to move this cable. It was a steel armored top secret cable. I won't go any further than that. But so um, the first thing we did was we, bought, we purchased about a hundred of these orange orange bags, maybe uh, four foot across balloons. Tied them to the cable and filled every one of them up with a scoop tank. We didn't have a compressor. Filled every one of them up and when they were all tied the cable hadn't budged. So, next we, um, we went on the base and we started scrounging 55 gallon drums, metal drums, and had a welder weld a fill valve and, and then uh, hooks so we could tie these barrels to those cables. And then, as quick as he got them welded, we took them out offshore and sunk them and, um, and then filled them up with air. Tied them to that cable and filled them up. Eventually, after about a week, the cable lifted off the ocean floor, and we had to add a few more drums, barrels, and then um, finally we were able to actually take a boat and pull the cable away from shore. And and when we got it out in the harbor, the wind and the currents picked it up, and all of a sudden. It's it a pretty impressive mess, like a spool of wire, fishing line all tangled up out there, uh, all the buoys banging together. It was a really impressive sight. But um, finally, we got the cable pulled over onto the Air Force Base, used the heavy equipment. And then, once the cable was in place, we went about releasing all the air. And um, you know, dropping the cable down to the ocean floor. Uh, deepest point we were at was maybe 35 foot of water. So um, when the cable was all set down, uh, they told me to go out and start cutting those balloons. No problem. So I, I, I'd go out and I'd, um, you know, there was, a lot, there was a pretty good current out there, but I'd, I'd go out there and I'd hang on the on that hemp rope tying the the lift bags to the cable. And I only had to do a couple saws on my, with a knife and that rope would snap and the balloons would shoot to the surface instantly. So, so this one time I was there watching, I was watching a school of squid come by. That, that was, to me, I'd never seen that before and it was fascinating. And, and then when I cut the rope, I had held on to it too long, unfortunately. Let's see what's going to happen here. It's traffic. So I, um, sorry, traffic. So I saw it on this hemp rope when it unexpectedly parted while I was still holding on to the rope. And instantly, in less than a second, I couldn't let go, didn't have time to let go of the rope. Instantly, I was shot from the bottom of the ocean to the surface. Faster than my bubbles. So, 
all of a sudden I was hanging on this this balloon on the surface looking at blue sky and the setting sun and I didn't know how quick I was going to die that's, that's one of the rules you don't break so I immediately dove for the bottom and I got down around 30 feet and just sat there and waited to see if I was going to die and you know while I was sitting there waiting to die I was watching some fighting conk on the, on the ocean floor battling out but I got to thinking about you know dang it the the, the tall redhead I'd been dancing with the night before on, on the campfire on the beach and um and you know while we were slow dancing neither one of us could uh make up our mind on uh who was going to kiss who first dang it so while I was sitting there ready to die that's all I could think of was was I had delayed here I'm going to die I'm going to leave this planet very painfully on the ocean floor and hadn't kissed that redhead redhead lady by the way a, a woke college professor chewed me out when I used the word girl describing uh, a woman chewed me out so don't ever use the word girl around uh, woke people so anyway I, watched my, I was watching my air watching the fight and conk and about 20 minutes sitting there I wasn't dead yet so I had slowly went to the surface ambling my way up keeping below my bubbles and then I got to the top and I got thinking I'm still alive that redhead's still alive Anyway, the point being is, take the chance when you get it, let go of the dang rope when you're cutting it, and don't go faster than your bubbles. <laughs> Peppers out.